Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Today's oblivious grandma, she's a renegade. And you know what? She's out for revenge. She doesn't like anybody in this town. She's grumpy. And she's going to be uh, riding on top of the bus here with a minigun. Because she is going into combat. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes, folks, we are back once again, and today is the final for the zombies. Now, I was debating on doing the final today, I know some people want to see some new disasters, but I figured let's go ahead and do one more episode, that way I can finish up this area, and then call it a day for the zombies for the time being. That way we can move on to bigger and more awesome disasters. So if you guys have any suggestions for the next non-zombie disaster, let me know down in the comments section below. I've heard meteorites, I've heard volcanoes, I've heard a lot of things. I'll probably run a poll in the top right corner too. But first thing is first. All right, so the last episode, we had a fresh outbreak. As you can see over here, there was a hole blown into the gate and the zombies are pouring through, chasing all the people through the neighborhood here. Now this was caused by the renegades and let's go ahead and get another view of them. I call them the renegades or the bandits. Uh, they're blowing a hole into here to let the zombies into the city. So today we're going to be building these guys a base and we're going to be having a big base zombie battle. But first, we got one more thing to go over real quick. So over here I asked you guys what the cause of the zombies was and a lot of people agreed that it's some sort of a virus uh, possibly made in a laboratory here. So that's what you see here. This was from the last episode. And then we had a plane crash also from the last episode. So if you missed that, that will be in the top right corner. But today, we are ready to go ahead and finish the zombies up. So, thank you guys for all the love and support on Tiny Town. And if you're enjoying Tiny Town on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's jump right into this. Alright, we got it really, really zoomed out right now. So what I'm going to do, today is going to be using the, uh, the rest of the buildings that we haven't used here in the zombie pack. Which a lot of them are like neighborhood houses. So you have stuff like that. So we're going to be placing those in here. And I think maybe in this corner, we're going to have the renegade capital or their, uh, their base. And we're going to be using some military forces here too. Maybe the military is going to be using a, or coming in for a strike. And maybe that's why some of the renegades are trying to escape here through the wall. So I've got to replace this area. This needs to be grass because of the, uh, the neighborhood here. So let's go ahead. Let me do that real quick. And then we'll jump into the actual building portion here. Okay, so I'm going to leave that portion over there concrete. We might stick a couple more businesses over there. So we need to go ahead and have the, uh, the neighborhood here. Which these are some really, really neat houses. Like, there's a ton of them. I almost think there's more houses in this pack than there is in the normal town pack. Or at least it seems. So, actually, let's start with small houses over here by the, uh, this is by the cemetery and church, which we did that on the, I believe it was the first episode here. Can I get that a little bit closer? Ooh, I have to make, make it to where I can, uh, snap that through real quick. All right, so we're adding all sorts of houses. I really like this one. It's got a help road up on the roof, and you can see where people uh, might have been hiding out in the, uh, the attic here. So that is really cool. Let's go and get like a blown out house over here. Maybe this one caught fire. Uh, I might leave an empty lot here. Maybe there was a house under construction. Uh, there's a couple little pieces I'd like to use for that. Uh, let's go ahead and get one of the bigger houses in, something like that. Let's go ahead and rotate here. There we go. All right, so maybe we'll stick this one right. Actually, probably aim it this way towards the main portion of the road. But actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I actually like it aiming towards this part, too. That way, all the other buildings look the same. So we got that. Like, I don't even recall this house being in the normal pack. Do I have a house that looks like that over there? I don't believe I do. That's kind of neat. This one's got, like, police tape on it. So maybe that's uh, where the police were responding to one of the outbreaks. All right, I've rearranged a couple more houses. I actually stuck one of the, the blown out house that was over there. I stuck it over here. All right, so we have a neighborhood set up. Now, on the back side here, I really can't fit any more houses. So I think these are going to be maybe some fences and stuff for backyards. So I need to add stuff there. Also over here, that still looks really cool with the military chopper. Uh, there's some more military stuff coming up. I think for the most part, we'll be done with the zombies for now, but... 
I still think we'll have a maybe a military battle or something. I've saw some uh saw some requests for that. Actually, you know what we could do over here? I got an idea real quick. Uh just for yeah, we'll have to do it over here. We're gonna make something really detailed. We're gonna do like a small uh almost like a mobile home park right in this area. Uh so let me go get some uh let me get a new terrain here. Yeah, we actually have quite a few of these like uh trailers here. So we're gonna stick some of these through here. It's okay if some of these repeat themselves. Let's see, let's use that one. Uh, we'll need to fence this area off somewhat. Uh, I like these. These actually look pretty cool. Alright, that's pretty awesome. Let's see, what else do we need to stick? We got an empty spot here. How about this damaged shop? I got a little store right there. Alright, this is looking good. It is time for me to get into the nitty gritty of this area here. So... You guys seem to like me to do a lot of this off camera, that way I'm not like placing stuff every five seconds like, Hey look, here's a zombie! So I'm gonna build up this area. Uh, like I said, the base is gonna be over there, and maybe the military is gonna be doing launching like an air attack or something uh, on the base. Maybe that's a part of what this uh, initial attack is. Alright, so I think I finished the neighborhood and the uh, mobile home park. Now, my idea for the mobile home park, I know it kind of looks like a base, but this was a, a little refuge uh, that some people, they blocked it off. It's a gate around it or it's fence around it, still in pretty good shape. You can see they blocked off the back wall there. So, this just might be a normal survivor camp. I know we had one over there, but that one over there was overrun. So, we might put some normal people here. And maybe they won't be all crazy like the Renegades. So I've got that. I've got the neighborhood pretty much complete. I've got a ton of junk. We got backyards now. Uh, there's still one like lone survivor over here in this backyard. You can see the fenced off areas, the junk, the cars, the plane crash. So I got to put some zombies. I don't think there's going to be too many in this neighborhood. They're just going to be wandering around. Uh, maybe we'll put some up against the gate here trying to get into the refuge camp. And maybe, I don't know, we're going to have to do something with that back street. That's where the renegades were coming through. Alright, so we have the refuge area. So we're going to kind of go on a little tour of this. Uh, they got a nice little area in here. They're kind of self-sustaining. So you can see the people uh, that are guarding the street. They see the chaos that's happening down there. Uh, this guy up here with the sniper rifle, he's actually got a really good view of the neighborhood and the wall. And they're probably thinking, why aren't we allowed on that side of the wall? This is crazy. So we can go through here and see people all throughout the camp. I set up like a little supply area here. They do have a vehicle. They have an armored RV. Uh, kind of like the Renegades, except for they're not using this for evil. Maybe they're going to plan an escape one day. So you can go through here. You can see other people just standing around. Uh, camps are set up. All the homes are kind of... They're somewhat decayed, but it looks like they're somewhat maintained, too, unlike the rest of the neighborhood here. So, pretty cool setup there. You can see throughout the neighborhood, I've got zombies spread out, uh, more debris. Uh, you can see some more zombies through here. You got the lone survivor back here, and you got the zombies trying to come up, maybe starting to bang on his fence here, more down the street. So, overall, pretty happy with how we filled this out. So now comes the base. The base is going to be right here. It's going to be kind of long. It's not going to be very wide. So this is going to be the Renegades headquarters. All right. So what I'm working on now, we're working on the uh, Renegade camp. So there, I'm assuming this is also, I know I said they were, uh, the military is on a mission to help save the general up there, which that's still a part of the plan. Like the, uh, the special forces are still trying to get to them, but they're also leading a uh, attack here to hopefully come down this road and try to attempt to destroy this bandit camp. So the bandit camp is pretty cool actually. I've got it barricaded off. I've got some ideas. There's a couple ways to get into it. You've got a door over here which will be uh, protected by some guards and a sniper. I haven't given everybody their weapons yet. Uh, over here there's one other way for people to walk in and that's this little, uh, little uh, I guess cargo container here. You can see an opening which you can go into there. They can close it at any point. But you got guards there, and you got guards on the other side. So you've got that. I've got this base completely blocked off. You can see they fenced off in between buildings and blocked uh, doorways of the buildings over here too. So they've got that. They've got some shops. You can see that they're working on some cars over here. I would assume maybe a couple of these panels would slide over or open up like a garage. That way they can get their uh, vehicles out. 
You got people stationed on top of the roofs. Uh, there was actually a police station here, which looks really cool. You got guard towers, supplies. Uh, you've got other buildings. There's a diner, uh, all little RVs. People are living in here. So I got quite a bit more detail to add to this. Now they have these cages. Maybe they have attack zombies. That could be cool. So let's grab a couple of zombies. Uh, let's grab this prisoner one, make him look like he's just angry, like he's trying to get out of the cage. Turn off snapping. And stick them in there. There we go. That's kind of cool looking. Let's grab, uh, let's grab one more here. We'll stick this one in. And this one's going to be reaching through. Uh, like, kind of like this. So we'll go... About like there. So, maybe at some point... I don't know why they would be keeping these, to be honest with you. Maybe they are for attack zombies. Maybe they're trying to train them to become their own undead army. Maybe that's kind of what's going on over there with the outbreak, I'm not really sure. So, gotta add some more details here, everybody's gotta get some guns and stuff like that, some supplies, I'm gonna dirty up the area some more. And then, we're gonna have an aerial attack coming in from the military. Man, this is turning out really good today, check out what we've all done. Like, we've basically completely filled this area in. Like, renegade camps, neighborhoods, mobile home park today, and then we're gonna have the military. This is probably my favorite area so far. It's going to be kind of sad once we end this little area and we move on to other disasters, but uh, just know that we put a lot of effort into this uh, little town apocalypse zombie thingy. All right, so I think we are through with the renegade camp. I did add uh, something I didn't point out to you guys. I added more uh, reinforcements for that renegades are coming up the road, uh, getting ready to break through with the rest of the zombies. So we've got that. I've uh, placed weapons in everybody's hands. I've added some zombies. There's quite a few down zombies here because the uh, the renegades are trying to keep them off the walls. Your uh, rifle's a little bit... There we go. Looks a little bit better. So you got that. We got one zombie actually ran into one of the spikes here. Uh, you can see him downed up the road here. This one looks a little awkward. That needs to go down just a bit more. There we go. Place him down there. Alright, so I think for the most part, the renegade camp is through. Now, unfortunately... For the Renegades, uh, the army is on the way, they're launching an airstrike, and it's about to get messy for them. But, it's kind of like a big chaotic battle, like, everything that's happening, of course the, uh, the zombies, or the Renegades are trying to break through as the military's attacking. It's just like the perfect storm, the perfect timing here. So, I guess one of the last things we need to add is uh, some more military presence. So let's go military. Uh, the cavalry is gonna be coming in, and it's not gonna be pretty here. So, I'm thinking, let's see scaling-wise. I always have to rescale these things. Uh, let's go up here. Okay, what is the scaling from you to you? Okay, so the chopper is definitely small, so I need to scale some of these. So the cavalry's coming in. Let's go ahead and do uh, maybe two of the uh, Hueys here. They're gonna be dropping troops in. But also, they're going to be getting bombed over here, so... Don't want to do it. You know, we're going to do it by jet this time, which, oddly enough, they're still separate here. So you go to airport in order to get to the military jets, which is admittedly a little bit odd. Alright, which fighter jet do I want? I think I like this one here, so... See, this one, scaling-wise, doesn't look too bad. Maybe a little bit bigger. Alright, it's going to be coming through. It's going to be doing a low pass here. And even though it's still got some of its rockets, I'm going to have some firing off. Actually, it looks like it's going to crash into the house here. This looks epic. It looks like some epic military charge here. Okay, so let's go back to military. They should have us uh, some uh, missiles here. Ah, i got to find them. There they are. Beautiful. What's the difference between that one and that one? They look exactly the same. Those are the ones that are equipped on this uh, plane. You know what? Maybe they had some smaller ones here. All right, so let's go... Missiles are coming in. Oh, that is epic looking. Okay, you got that one. Say they had shot another one, was tracking through. The impacts haven't been made here. Maybe we'll do another explosion over there. I don't know. They're trying to make, probably take out a couple of these buildings, get some of these people off the roof here. That's cool. Oh, I forgot to use the little machine gun mount. Hey, maybe this will be their uh, AA. Yeah, we got this guy. He's trying to defend, but he knows... Everything's about to go wrong. Uh, that missile's a little cattywampus. Let's fix that. So yeah, you've got that coming. The military's on their way. I guess we could do, um... 
maybe it wouldn't make sense to have the military already here. Would say maybe we'll do some uh, special forces repelling down, but I think we'll save stuff like that for an actual military scene and not a zombie apocalypse scene. So, we got quite a bit done here today. It's a battle raging on. Who do you think's gonna win, the military or the renegades? I've got my money on the military because, I mean, they've got missiles and, and planes. Uh, Renegade's got some uh, armored vehicles that probably aren't going to stand up. So, one more time, let's go ahead and zoom out. We're going to go over one last tour of the zombie area. So, because this is a zombie final, we'll start here. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in. This is where the, uh, the new outbreak's happening. We're going to cruise up the side. Renegades are breaking through. Convoys coming through. Of course, we just went over the Renegade base, so we'll skip that. You've got the neighborhood. You've got the extremely low flyover here. That looks pretty cool. You've got the, uh, of course, the new little area we did here with a refuge camp. Maybe they're going to be saved once the uh, the military gets in here. And then, of course, we go into here. This guy's in the middle of the air. I think I was taking a screenshot. Huh? There he goes. Now, we've got one last thing we're going to add this episode, but I'll, I'll save it for the very end. But, anyways, this is from the first zombie episode. The military's charging through uh, to the hospital here. You've got action going on all over the place. Of course, the general's getting thrown off the roof there. Uh, zombies are getting them. There's the special forces. It's all tied together now because you can look down and see like the renegade camp and stuff like that. Uh, over here, this was an overrun refuge camp. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Got a lot of just plain buildings through here. Some zombies in the streets. That street's pretty tame. Of course, earlier in the episode, this was the origins place where the outbreak started and then there's a plane crash over here. So overall, really happy with this. One last thing we have to add, and you know what? We're gonna reveal Oblivious Grandma's true motives. The reason why she's always here. Today's Oblivious Grandma, she's a renegade. And you know what? She's out for revenge. She doesn't like anybody in this town. She's grumpy. And she's gonna be uh, riding on top of the bus here with a minigun, because she is going into combat. I figure we change it up with Miss Grandma today. She's not so... I mean, she's probably still going to take a picture of something or make them stop the bus uh, for ducks or something. But still, thought we'd change it up with Grandma today. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for the zombie part of this series. We might later down the road do some more of this. Maybe we'll just expand the... Uh, the actual zone here, but I'm pretty happy with what we've done. Now we're going to move on to some more disasters. So I had you guys comment earlier uh, as to what you want to see next. We've still got plenty of areas to work with. We've got behind the zombie apocalypse. We've got just a ton of stuff to do here. So anyways, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Tiny Town series. And we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town. Thank you.